Every morning, I wake up and I ask myself, what is it that I'm gonna do today that's gonna separate me from everybody else? Heck, I ask myself, what's gonna separate me from my opponent? My mentality is I wanna wake up and not be average. I wanna wake up every morning knowing that I'm going to be better than everybody else. And see why everybody else is sleeping in. I'm waking up and I'm going. I'm not scared of what's in front of me today because I've already been through it all. I done been in the cage with some of the best. I done been in the cage with some of the worst. I done been in the cage with just everybody. But see, I'm not afraid of what's in the cage. The only thing I'm afraid of now is those who are out of the cage. And I'm not talking about the haters. I'm not talking about the doubters. I'm talking about the little kids that look up to me. I'm talking about my family that tells me that I can do it. I'm talking about all of my friends out there that bought tickets to come support me. I'm talking about Wichita. Because they're not just coming to watch me and support me just so they can have fun. They come in to watch him and support him because they believe in me. So my mission every morning is not to fail. So when I start my day, I first mentally get prepared. We're ready for you. Come on in. All right. This is what I've been waiting for. Introduce me to the pod. All right. And this is Voila. It's gorgeous. Well, cool. What's the next step? Well, you're going to get undressed and take a quick shower. Uh, the 1,000 pounds of Epsom salt and 200 gallons of water allows you to flow effortlessly. You just get into a comfortable position okay. and try to shut down. So it's kind of like being on a cloud. Yes. It's about the closest thing to anti-gravity on this planet. Very cool. Can't wait to try. Nice. While I'm in a float tank, I think about all those around me that have always told me, good job, good job, good job. But yet I think about how many people has ever told me, great job. And I guess that's the thing that really bothers me is that all my life I've been geared to just being good. Just the fact that I know I've been going through my entire life is just being good. And that's when it starts. And that's when it kicks in. From this moment on, I'm going to be great. So my mentality of the day is just be great, be great, be great. Next, I go hit it as hard as I can at the gym. Anything possible, anything my trainer throws at me, I do it in some. I accomplish one thing and then I go hit another. And then I go again. And I go again. Hey, some people call me crazy. But I guess in order okay, to be Manny successful Ball. with this lifestyle, you gotta be somewhat crazy. About to show Bellator my man Scott Coker why K-Man about to be the next champion. You gotta be crazy enough to believe that you can jump over a wall. You gotta be ready to go. Ain't none of that slacking no more. Ah, Let's go, you better finish ah, this. Ah, Let's go, K-Man. You either ah, want it or you don't. Ah, you either want it or you don't. You gotta be crazy enough to believe that you can push a truck that's steel. Ready? What are we doing? We're pushing it. I hope you're joking. I'm dead serious. <laughs> We're going right to the helmet, baby. We're going all the way down and all the way back. All right. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Hey, just so you know, this is not a game. This is what we do. K-Man better push this all the way down the end of the workout. <laughs> hey, the car is off. Is it neutral? That way you know it's not in drive. It's off. The car is completely off. Let's go, baby. Okay, baby, let's go. Get that tear. Hey, come on, you gotta keep going, baby. A little bit further to get 
get some gas, baby. I ran out. I'm out of work. gas, too. Way to work, baby. I'm out of gas. Way to work. Just so you know, now I can turn the car on. That's how you know he really pushed that. This is real life out here. You got to be crazy enough to believe that everything that you do is going to help you become better in everything that's in front of you. Because I don't know what my opponent's going to throw at me. But I don't care. Because he should be more worried about what I'm going to throw at him. See, there's a lot of people standing in your way from being great. There's a lot of people trying to stop you from being successful. When I started on this path of MMA, I moved every second, every minute, trying to figure out how I can be better than that next man. I studied my film. I watched him. I watched him. I envisioned my opponent. And I tell myself, there's no way, there's no chance that he can stop me. And the moment somebody tells me good job, I push a little harder because I don't want to be good anymore. Every fight before my last fight, I was just good. But now, I'm great. You know, it's funny, I'm telling my trainer all this and I'm pumped up and I'm excited. And my trainer laughs at me. And he says, listen, K, man, you gotta strive to be a legend. And if you for one second think that my mentality is only to make you great, you are missing the bigger picture. See, great ain't gonna cut it either. You wanna be successful? You gotta try to be a legend. See, I've been told all my life to go out there and shoot for the moon, and if I miss, I land on the stars. You are strong. I'm not shooting no for the moon anymore. No week. I'm shooting for the stars. Each and every star that steps in that ring, I knock them down. And I put them back on Earth. And I let them know I'm the only one that belongs up here. I'm not the old caveman. I'm the new caveman. You can tell by my walk, you can tell by my talk, you can tell by just looking at me. That right there is why I wake up. That right there is what pushes me. And that's the reason why I will be a legend. Caveman, evolve. Narrated by Marquise Bradley. And I see things mighty clear today I'm alive